firm. Okay, let's do an extra warming warm up today because I'm chilly. So let's start in our mountain pose, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, and reach your crown to the ceiling. Spread your toes, ribs towards your spine and up, shoulders back and down into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just focusing inward, breathing. <coughs> My allergies are still crazy. And then we'll do our breath of joy warm. So out to the front with your arms, out to the sides, then bring them all the way up above your shoulders, and then bend your knees, squat down, and say ha on the exhalation. So it's a three-part inhalation. Inhale, 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 ha. And we'll do it a little faster each time. So come to the front. Inhale, 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 ha. In, 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 out. See if you can breathe through your nose while we're doing it. So in, 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 ha. And when you do the hop, of course, you can do it out through your mouth because you need a better hop. One more. And then come back into mountain pose, see if you've got a little more circulation there warming you up today. So take a moment to breathe. And just focus in on it. Spread your toes, lengthen your spine. And then bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands and bring them toward the ceiling. A little back bend. And then we'll pivot forward, swan dive, and come all the way down into the back dog. Take a moment there. Slide your hands up under your knees, halfway up. And Ankles, hip, knees, and hips lined up. Spine is straight. Elbows and knees straight. Everything stretching open. And then back into ragdoll. Knees bent and aligned up. And as we normally do. Shoulders back and down, coming back into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feel again. And that energy flows. Arm out to the side, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder for our side stretch. Stretch the hands away and lean to the side. Push the foot you lean away from down, as we always do, and reach out through your head. Feel those ribs stretching apart. And then inhale back up and release. Balancing the body, we'll do the other side. Arm out, palms toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, lean over to the side, no twist. Just hips and shoulders facing the front. Ribs opening as you push the foot one way and the hand the other. And then inhale to the top and release. And again, feeling the side a little more open, we'll do our regular twist. So get that spine stretching it out. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands over shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Bring the arms next to your ears, pull the shoulders and shoulder blades and sitting bones down. And then crown, reaching to the ceiling, stretch the spine apart, exhale, and twist. Take a breath. Exhale, open. Spread your toes, just deep in the spine as you'd like to go. Lift the sitting bones, get the weight on both feet, and then work your way up in the twist. So lift your heart, pull your elbows back, and drop your shoulders. 
upper body only for your back bend. Don't overwork that lower back too much. This. Inhale up, exhale around to the center. Switch your arms, balance it out. And again, arms by your ears and stretch. Exhale, we twist. Take a breath, pivot over. And again, just deepen as far as you'd like on this side. Lifting your sitting bones, relaxing, or even. And again, with the weight on both feet, work your way up in the twist into that upper body on the back. Shoulders down, lift your heart, stretch your head away. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Arms up, extended mat and sink evenly into your feet. Keep your arms next to your ears and pivot. And again, parallel to the floor for a moment, stretching it out. And then again, dropping into that dog. Take a moment, pulling in deeper if you love it. With your hands behind your legs. Just feel that stretch on your back. And then arms to the center, knees slightly bent, and one more roll up into the neck and pose. Feet hip width apart, stretching up through the crown, and feeling your body. Take a moment there, just breathing. And then arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. We'll go into our chair spot. So spread your toes, sink your hips back behind you. Make sure your knees don't go beyond your toes as you come into your spot. Arms stay by your ears, back stays straight, and everything stretches. Just come as deeply into the squat as you want. Stretch out through the head and fingertips, but back with the sitting bones. And don't forget to breathe. A moment there, and then lead with your fingertips coming back up into extended neck. Shoulders down, palms out, and to your sides. Take a moment, breathing, and let's turn our toes slightly out, turning your whole leg with it, and make sure your knees are still going toward those second toes. Bend your knees, not beyond your toes, just coming down into a little squat. Hands above your knees. And we'll go into a twist. So stretch the sitting bones one way and the crown the other. And then exhale, turning to the side, bringing your shoulder down toward that opposite knee, looking to the side. So the hip you're turning toward comes up a little bit as your whole body turns to the side. Stretch it out, lengthening, breathing. Exhaling any stress or tension. Lengthening that spine, going into the twist. Exhale, turning that all the way center. And again, lengthening, spreading the toes, exhaling, and turning to the opposite side. Let the hip come up a little bit on the side you're turning toward as that shoulder goes down toward your opposite knee. Take a moment, stretching it out, breathing, twisting. So the two shoulders are kind of stacked one on top of the other toward the side. Your whole body turns. Exhale, turn your whole body back to the center. And then tuck in your chin. And roll your way up. And again, into mountain pose. Just take a moment feeling that spine a little bit more activated. That's here. Hands together. And look at your hands coming all the way to the ceiling. Lift your heart, pulling those thumbs back, coming into a little back bend. Let's swan up again, coming forward all the way into ragdoll. Take a moment there again, just hanging as deeply as you'd like. Hands up under your knees for that halfway up stretch. Shoulder, shoulder blades, sitting bones back behind you. And crown opposite. Stretch the whole spine, breathe into it. Elbows, knees, spine are straight, remember. Make sure your chin isn't pushing forward, looking down. 
And then bend your knees and come all the way into our transition to child's pose. Hands next to your feet. Hips towards your heels and forehead towards the floor. Take a moment there, just relax. And as deeply into that position as your body would like. Take a moment, just breathe. And then shin slightly in as you sit back up and come up into step position. So let's warm up our hips today with our usual warm up. Sitting bones behind you, core activated, shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling, and pushing your heels out and your toes back. Take a moment there in staff position, just feeling your body. Notice that core supporting you. And don't forget to breathe. So we'll warm up one leg first. So bring the foot to the opposite leg and let the knee come down toward the floor. So remember, the hip joint will be tight. So just allow it to happen or add the weight of your hands, but don't push, no pressure. Pressure makes things resist. If you like that, that's fine. If you need it a little easier, you can bring your leg over toward the side. Keep the knee and the toes up on the extended leg. You can also remember put a little pad behind you. Take a moment breathing, just letting that leg relax all the way down toward the floor as far as it wants to go. And remember, never force it, just let it relax as it does incrementally, it'll get closer. So breathe into it, just exhale any tension. And then bring your knee and foot into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull the leg closer and move side to side, getting that outside rotator on your hip a little bit more warmed up. So take a moment there, make sure your hips stay above, or your shoulders stay above your hips and your whole spine is nice and straight. Keep the core active, supporting your low back. Make it a little more intense in that rotation if you want by pulling your knee, pulling your leg closer or higher or not. And then releasing that leg, Coming back into staff position, take a yoga moment to notice. See the difference on each side so that when we do the other side, you will notice it. So bring that opposite foot up and let that knee come down. And again, just relax into it. The foot can be towards your thigh or down towards your knee or as high as it wants to go on the leg. It doesn't really matter. It's your personal practice with your body. Add weight, but not pressure if you want to let that knee come a little bit further toward the floor when it's ready. And remember, you can move this leg to the side or leave it straight. Take a breath, just relax. Notice one side may be tighter because creatures of habit that we are, we often use our bodies habitually one way and not the other. I have noticed that when I sit on my couch, I have my legs go into one side much more than toward the opposite side, and it does make a difference. So I have to consciously remember to try and do it both ways evenly so that I even things out in my body. And again, bringing your leg into your hands or wrapping your arms around, pulling it in, rotate side to side. So just feel that outside of your hip getting a little bit warmer. As it does, if you begin saying, oh, this is kind of easy, you can always make it more intense or not. Always personal practice what's right for your body. And again, as you exhale, bring that leg out and notice that we've worked both sides now. Maybe you're both a little bit more activated and warmed up. So let's bring the feet together, knees out toward the sides. Press your hands, pull those heels in as close as they want to go, and let the knees come down toward the floor. Yeah, the inner thighs will probably feel a little bit more stretched, so let them relax. Don't force it, just let it happen. 
You can bring your arms over towards your knees if you want a little extra weight, but again, no pressure. Take a moment there, keep the core active, support your spine, keep the spine open, ground stretching up toward the ceiling, the shoulders down, and don't forget to breathe. And then one hand and then the other under your shoulders behind you, and a little pressure in your fingertips or palms, whatever works for you. And just feel that slight shift through the midsection, through the thighs, through the whole body. Maybe the knees come down a little further. Think about the bottoms of your feet going upward and letting that stretch happen through your legs. Take a moment and breathe. Lift your heart. And then exhaling, bring your hands back to the center. Slide your feet out just a little bit. Bring your hands under your legs. And then pivot forward, bringing your hands to the tops of your feet. Bring your chest toward your feet, but keep the spine as straight as you can. Push those sitting bones maybe a little further back. And just keep pivoting, feeling that stretch through the legs. Breathing and relaxing into it. Stretching your spine, deepening into that pivot. And then on an inhalation, letting go with your hands, pulling back up, coming into your starting position. Lift your knees, and again, bring the legs out to the front. Take a moment there, just breathing and relaxing. And let's bring the feet to the end of the neck. So coming into staff position, sitting bones again behind you, core still activated, supporting your back. Stretching your spine up to the ceiling, shoulders right above your hips, and we'll roll slowly to the floor. So just come all the way down to the mat. Let your arms relax at your sides, head to the mat, and the toes hip with a pinch. Take a moment there, just a little reclined integration, feeling the body. And we'll slide the sitting bones slightly towards your heels, pressing the back just gently down, and bring your heels next to your sitting bones. Knees straight up, and spine relaxing. So spread your toes out, keep your hands spread out, shoulders relaxing down toward the floor. We're gonna work the low back a little bit. So just a very gentle physical therapy kind of exercise. So there's a little space under your low back, probably. So slide your sitting bones toward your heels, bring your whole spine down, feeling those core muscles contract as you pull down toward the floor. Just let it feel through your body what's going on. And then we're gonna pull the sitting bones back and arch up, lifting the ribs, getting more space underneath your back as you come into that position. So a little expansion up toward the ceiling. Exhaling, sliding the sitting bones out, pulling the whole spine to the floor, contracting those core muscles. And then bringing the sitting bones back, arching up, lifting the ribs, and from the shoulder blades to your sitting bones, arch up the space under your leg back. And just do that a few times, really noticing how your body changes as you move. Feeling the core working, and then releasing it as you bring those ribs up, arching. So we're building strength in the low back, and we're turning the abs at the same time. So this is just a really nice, gentle conditioning for that area. And then just bring your spine to neutral. And next to you, we'll go into a bridge position. So again, our feet are hip width apart, our knees are hip width apart. So remember, make sure they're not rolling outward, tucking in, straight up toward the ceiling. Keep them there through that. Sitting bones toward your heels, press your back just gently down. And then lift your sitting or your hip bones up, sitting bones too, but the hip bones guide you up toward the ceiling. Make sure those knees stay hip width apart. You can press gently into your hands and work up onto your shoulders a little bit more. 
So lift the ribs, lift the hip bones, and keep those knees hip width apart. Press into your feet evenly, and just come into as much bridge as your body wants. Head is on the floor, not your neck. If you want a little bit more, you can clasp your hands, push them down, and come up even higher onto your shoulders. But remember, knees stay hip width apart, hips keep lifting, ribs keep lifting. And then releasing your hands, palms down, release your shoulders, come onto your shoulder blades. Just feel those your ribs come down and your spine fully connect to the mat. Take a moment, breathing, feeling that work through your midsection. And we'll do that same thing once more. So you can hands at your sides, gently press your back down, and we'll lift your hip bones, keep those knees straight up, don't let them fall apart, come onto your shoulders. Keep your head on the floor, not your neck. If you want, you can clasp your hands the opposite way under you, and again, pressing them down. Arms and hands support you, feet support you, work your way up onto the tops of your shoulders as much as you want, but remember, not your neck. Head on the floor, shoulders on the floor, arms down, and feet supporting you. Hip width apart with those knees still, lift the hip bones, maybe a little bit more. Take a moment there, feel your body. And then bring your hips slightly down, and then push them again out. Just feel what's going on. And then release your hands, release your shoulders, come onto your shoulder blades first, and then your ribs, and then your back. Take a moment there, pressing your back down, draw your knees up towards your foot. Just give yourself a stretch along the back where we were now bending. And then feet to the floor, hands out to T position. If you want a little extra low back stretch in your twist, cross your leg over. Otherwise, leave them next to each other, feet up off the floor. Take a moment and breathe. And as you exhale, roll the knees right at hip level over to one side as you turn your head toward the opposite side. Shoulders stay down for that middle back twist, and the head turns only as much as your neck area wants or needs. Remember, personal practice, what's right for your body. Knees coming down, the further they go toward the floor, the more you get that low back in the twist. Again, do what's right for your body. Take a breath, just relax, and release it into that surface beneath you. Breathing deep, just releasing tension. And then bringing your heels towards your hips, roll onto your back. If you cross your legs, uncross. You can bring your feet to the floor, straighten the back out as you get ready to go the other way. And again, feet off the floor, crossing the leg if you wanted to for the opposite side, and coming over into the twist. Head turning toward the other direction as your knees come toward the level of the floor. Take a breath, just relaxing, letting those shoulders stay down, full spine in your twist. Take another breath, just relax into as deep as your body wants to go. <clears throat> the more the knees come down, the more your low back is in the twist. Make sure you're doing what's right for your body. And the same thing in the neck area, just turn your head only as far as your neck is willing to go, don't force it. Take another breath, just deepening into your twist as you exhale, always just let gravity do the work. Breathing deep, relaxing completely. And of course, you need to get a little relaxation in, so go ahead, hips to Heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, cross the feet if they were, your legs were crossed, and slide it out back into corpse position for our final relaxation. Hands up away from your sides, toes toward each other, and then just relaxing. Bring your head side to side, let your neck release also, and just breathe. 
Exhale, and let your body sink. So scan through your body, and any tightness anywhere, shoulders, back, hips, even your legs, just let everything grow heavy, sinking deeper into that first support. Take a moment and breathe, just let your neck come to a neutral position. Exhale, any tension. Breathing deeper, sinking further, letting your body go. And as you breathe and relax, just allow your awareness to release your body completely, letting gravity do the work of releasing your attention. And as you release thoughts of your body, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them release as well. It's the job of your mind, remember, to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, just let those thoughts disappear as easily as your breath floating away without a willingness. And as your mind begins to drift, let go of any content of your thoughts. No past, no future, not anything at all. Just focusing on the breath and the peace within. And let your awareness release your body and release your mind. Knowing with the peace, taking moments just being peace. And so always take as much time to relax as you can. But if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, you can energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. Move your fingers and your toes, your feet, your hands, circling. And stretching however is right for you. And when it's time, of course, for your final yoga part of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, draw your heels towards your hips, and your knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.